America, while Biden fumbles and Harris flounders, there's one man who is showing what real leadership looks like. Donald Trump's been on the ground in Georgia working hand-in-hand with Governor Kemp to help hurricane victims. This is the America First agenda in action, folks. And wait until you hear what he said about putting American manufacturing first. And oh, by the way, preparations are underway in Butler, Pennsylvania for his upcoming rally. But that's just a footnote to the real story of Trump's hands-on leadership. Now check this out. Are you listening? While Trump's taking charge in Georgia, helping hurricane victims, you need to take charge of your safety on the road. Recent reports show that drivers with dash cams are 60% less likely to be found at fault in traffic accidents. This easy-to-install dash cam, like Trump's hands-on approach, offers you protection when you need it most. It features 4K Ultra HD night vision, 24-7 motion detection. Don't wait for a disaster to strike. Visit CarVisionX.com and get free express shipping and several bonuses with every order during their special summer sale. Take control of your safety today, just like Trump is taking control of the situation in Georgia. Now, let's take a look. Uh, This is a beautiful sight to see. The flag has returned to Butler. There it is. It is back. Remember seeing that flag twisted into what looked like the shape of an angel. Well, now it's back over Butler. Preparations are underway to uh, have the next rally there. Absolutely beautiful, defiant President Trump going to go. Uh, so President Trump had had a bunch of stuff on the agenda today. Uh, this interview with Larry Kudlow hit the airwaves. He was in Georgia with Kemp. Uh, so we're going to get to all of these clips here for you so you can get a nice roundup of everything that happened. Um, let's just go right to the manufacturing statement here. And I would charge him enough that it would no longer make sense to go to Mexico. They, so they, wouldn't they do moved it. a big operation to Mexico. And they come in and they don't have to pay very, they almost pay very little tax. So they're going to make it in Mexico and they're going to sell it in here and we get killed. All we do is lose jobs. And by the way, that's been happening for years. I stopped it during mine. Then we had to fix COVID. We had to work on the COVID situation. But we had the greatest economy in history. Companies were moving back in like nobody's ever seen. Everything was great. So that's how we you had the ne- greatest economy in history. That, that's how you would negotiate, though. That's yeah. the point I'm so driving at. Cat, John Deere won't John Deere it. won't do it because you're threatening. I mean, you 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 will jack up their tariffs okay they won't do it it wouldn't be a threat now to some extent fact you're nego you're negotiating right now by saying this on the campaign trail all right you have an excellent chance of becoming president (laughs) it's not a threat it's a fact president trump also on the ground in georgia our hearts break for the more than 200 american families who've lost loved ones uh and those are the numbers that he's hearing As you saw in our previous report, the number could be upwards of 2,000 or more. Numbers that they are not sharing with us because they know it would be disastrous to Kamala's aspirations for the White House. My father, a lot of people knew their hearts break for the more than 200 American families who have lost their lives already. Officially, 200, and uh, that number, unfortunately, is going to be going up. It's uh, one of the deadliest storms in American history. More than two dozen Georgians have died, including a 27-year-old mother and her two precious babies who lived not very far from the, from McDuffie County. And uh, father, a lot of people knew these people. They're great. As father and grandfather, I know that such sudden and tragic loss must be almost unbearable. Don't know how you can even take it. Uh, Loved ones all over, all over your county, all over your state, and all over a lot of other states. You have Florida. Think of it, you have Virginia, you have South Carolina, you have Alabama, North Carolina, maybe hit the worst. Your hearts break for the... President Trump talking Kemp about the storm. In the back- now you see Governor Brian Kemp there in the background. Let's actually listen to the former president. Maybe the worst. Thank you, sir. Brief remarks there from former President Donald Trump. He was describing the damage from 
from Hurricane Helena as he's shaking hands with folks on the ground there. Uh, not the first stop for former President Trump in the southeast since this hurricane swept through, killing at least 120 plus people. We're going to monitor uh, this uh, sit down between former President Trump and the governor of Georgia. And of course, we'll bring you the headlines. Uh, at- so CNN reporting 120. Those are the CNN numbers. Remember our previous report? The woman said tack on a couple extra zeros. Here's more from uh, the president's interview with Larry Kudlow. There's no money for that. And the people in North Carolina and South Carolina and Georgia and Florida, Virginia, Tennessee, there's no money for them. Mm. But they're giving people. How about where they let them come in and stay in hotels and our veterans are sleeping outside of the main door to the hotel and they're watching migrants go into a hotel and sleep in a suite and they're sitting on the sidewalk and our veterans, they're our great veterans. Uh, this is the worst administration. Let me tell you, if they were if they were modestly good, I wouldn't have even run. Mm. This is the worst administration. But they spent this emergency money yeah. on illegal. They stole it. It's they stole it. This is also perversion of what the congressional authority was. And they're trying they to get those people to, to vote, it. Larry. They're trying to get those people to vote, just so you understand. Oh. They're trying to get them on the voter rolls. They want to put them on the Social Security rolls, which will destroy Social Security. This is the worst president in history. This is the worst administration in history. And she's worse than him. And actually, it's going to be hard to say this because he's pretty bad. She's actually less bright than he is. She (laughs) has no clue what the hell she's doing. That's why she never does an interview. She never does a press conference because she can't talk. And the people in North Carolina. (laughs) She's less bright than he is. That's pretty bad. What do you think about it? He also weighed in on the honeymoon period. You guys all know what that is, right? The same thing, but it's now she's had the honeymoon period, and now people have found out she's a radical leftist. She's a Marxist. A lot of people don't know what a Marxist is, so you could say communist. Not the same thing, but it's close. She's very bad for this country. She will destroy this country. Mr. President, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. And your wisdom. Here's more. Well, and then you look at the vice president. How about that? J.D. Vance was great. J.D. was top terrific. student at Yale Law School, he graduated was, with honors. He, order. he no, did you proud. No, he was J. great. He was did you proud. You chose him, he did you proud. And I knew I was getting, I was getting, a, you know, very smart guy. But how do you compare that with this guy that calls himself a knucklehead? He says that he's a knucklehead. He actually says that it's uh, Let me. I can, to... can he be president someday? Well, oh. Tim Walls for president. That's a terrifying consideration. So President Trump doing what he does best, and that is lead. He is acting as a president should. Kamala Harris is too busy at fundraisers and rallies. People on the ground in Georgia and North Carolina are suffering. Okay? There's aid that's being blocked by FEMA and confiscated by some accounts, thousands dead. Trump's actually on the ground doing the hard work as preparations are underway for his grand return to Butler. So there you have it, folks. While the current administration flounders, Trump is showing what real leadership looks like. He's not just talking about helping Americans. He's actually doing it. He's not just promising to bring back jobs. He's laying out a plan to make it happen. But here's what I want to know from you. Do you think Trump's hands-on approach to crisis management and his America First policies are what our country needs right now? Let us know in the comments below.